Hi, this is Peter Schulz, developer of WordPress plugin WP Data Access. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can gi uh, give users access to your data projects within the WordPress dashboard. For this demo, I will use the WPDA SAS uh, demo project. You can find it on the website as well. Let's have a look at the student administration system. Let's sort it and then you can see that there are a number of roles within this data project. There's an administrator role, there's a contributor role, there's a subscriber role. The administrator is the one who's allowed to change all the data. The contributor in this system is the teacher and the subscriber is the student. So that means I have chosen the subscriber role to be the role for the student. Now let's give this let's just just one student access to those three pages, my profile, my grades and my courses. To do that, click on the uh, user menu item and create a new user. For this demo, I will just create a user student. It's already, it has already been in my system, but doesn't matter. Um, confirm the, uh, I'll con confirm the password. What I do here is I'll, I'll give this student the subscriber role. Add the user. So now I will switch to another browser, to my Firefox browser. And then what you need to do is, um, when you are here in the dashboard, then just copy this part of your URL. So it's, it's the, the domain name and the part wp-admin. Uh, I'll copy that and then I'll copy that within Firefox. And now, instead of uh, being Peter Schulz, I'll log in as student. And the password is student as well. And when I log in, now I have access to the dashboard. And as you can see, there's a menu, the WPDA SAS menu, that allows me to see my profile, my grades, and my courses. Now, I can see all this data because I have already uh, created the connection within uh, the, the data project. So if we have a look at the data project, uh, then you can see that for my profile, for example, I have used this dollar dollar user dollar dollar environment variable. You can find more information about this on the website under uh, defining user roles and where clauses. Okay, I hope this makes it um, easier for you to understand how to give users access to your data projects.